All right, so this video we have uh, to work on the battery bank compartment. So uh, as you can see here, I got the Gold Zero, uh, two batteries, and then I have another two over there that are gonna be stacked up here. So I have to uh, build out a uh, one by angled uh, framing with this stuff over here and uh, that's what we got going on so we'll see I'm um, thinking just a shelf on one side and probably put a panel or something over here for like uh, switches and whatnot for lights um, but yeah that's what we have going on right now um, depending on how far that how long it takes and how far I get on that shouldn't be long but uh, we have oak three-quarter inch oak it's gonna be used for the store slide outs um, and with that, I've got the two by uh, angle iron that we'll use as the supports for the drawer slides. They're sliding out here and I haven't decided yet if I want to weld those down to the uh, frame or bolt them through to framing. And okay, as you can see right here, there's a uh, framing post from the waves. So I'll, I could put a bolt here and a bolt here and um, do it that way but I just don't know clearance wise and if I want to do that down the road it makes it more uh, a little easier to move things around if it's not working out but I don't know if I'm ever gonna need to move things around I'm hoping this is gonna be a one, one and done deal so anyway that's what we got going on uh, let the time lapse begin you told me I'm your anchor I told you you're my ball through the wind and fire, we try to hold on. We build this ship together, searching for our home. Despite the storm that hit us, we're still on board. Dancing in the moonlight, the world just stops and stares. We got no destination, I'd take you anywhere. All the doors we've opened, and all the books we've closed. Words just come together, story that we never told. So far. Taking for my own You said just keep holding on If you're about to break Oh, I always be your captain For our failures we have grown All right, so the uh, camera battery uh, died on me and then uh, it's now like three months later, I know. Um, but we made progress on the trailer here so let me bring it to speed i've been failing on my uh, filming duties but uh, here we go as far as the battery bank compartment this is what we ended up with we have a uh, door access here ta-da um the battery bank ended up like this the actual fabrication of the mounts had to be done these are the mounts for the uh, Goal Zero right there. Um, and then over here are the actual, uh, here's the battery hold down assembly. Okay, so we have two separate um, deals. This here is for the um, bottom rack. So because of the minimum amount of space, um, it's gonna go just like that. And then uh, there's going to be a pressure plate, or there is a pressure plate above this, uh, or the actual um, platform for the batteries is above this. And I can tighten this, or I should say loosen this. That applies pressure uh, downward on the batteries. And then the uh, top is just a simple, um, pretty much the same thing, but actually holding it down. So I mounted a, uh, welded out a nut. It goes on the uh, bottom of this and I'll uh, tighten that down. So there's the nut from the uh, for the top right there. And then the bottom, you see that the, um, uh, the plate here, I had a little housing so that doesn't pop off and slide off that uh, nut on the top here. This to so this will set into the hole here and allow it to pivot while I tighten it and uh, there you go. That's the battery um, bay. I have all the wiring that has to get done and interconnected between everything but uh, it's set up ready to go. Doors installed. 
Um, got a lock or got a new key for that that actually works. So we're good there. Uh, then I went on to the back. Now the back is where the real progress kind of started. Um, and I kind of missed all the footage of that. But I made a uh, holder. I made a stand or a drawer uh, for the Dometic here. Um, it's just some eighth inch two by angle iron. So the actual stand itself looks like this. So I got a two by angle that I miter cutted on the, uh, the corners here. And then just for some intermediate supports in the middle, just some additional angle iron. I think it's like half inch, um, or not angle, uh, flat stock. So nothing too crazy. Um, just enough to give it some support. And then uh, we are, I had to drill all the holes, uh, some precision hole work here and get the uh, proper length and size hardware that will actually clear the drawers. So the inside of them um, has to be only, can't be too big, can't be too small um, to fit around the, uh, the holes here in the drawer slides. So that uh, was a task and then getting that all just welding that out and then getting it to uh, mount up. I have a quarter inch two by angle. I'm not sure if you can see it here, um, but it's quarter inch two by angle that I'm gonna be welding off. I wasn't sure I was gonna weld it or drill it, but um, I'm definitely gonna weld it more so for ease. Um, I did make a mistake. I have this one all the way out to the actual framing as long. This one I cut short. I was thinking I was gonna be short on material because I was gonna use it for something else. and. Lo and behold, uh, I have extra material now, so should have extended it for here further so I could hit the frame. Probably gonna, the fix is gonna be just weld some square on the bottom side of it, um, and then I can weld that through. So, and over here, we did the same thing. I had a two by angle iron here. Now the problem was just space, and the amount of space that I had in the whole back side here between um, this side and that side. Um, I have the Dometic here that I mounted sideways, obviously, because of the wheel well. And then I have the kitchen drawer assembly. So this is the drawer assembly for the sink. I uh, put a recess cut around here uh, in my amateur woodworking skills. Um, tried to router it and did an okay job. But anyway, it's recessed enough that it will um, it'll sit flush. So this is going to be actually upside down on the uh, right here on top. So it'll mount upside down here so that when I pull this out, it then flips over and I'll set over here. I need to get a stand of some kind to help support it over here. And it'll also have to be um, offset three quarters of an inch because of this drawer slide. So when it actually folds down, it'll be um, below this point. So I'm going to mount some additional uh, plywood on here, which is where the uh, hinge will mount. That way when it folds over, it'll be offset three quarters of an inch and sit there nice um, and pretty. Um, oven sits in here. All right, so going back to the space issue, um, because of the distance between here, I had to mount these as close as possible, utilizing the same mount here for the, um, that's mounted to the uh, trailer itself. So because of the, um, I have different size slides and the holes didn't mount up. I could have just drilled through, I guess, the slides and mounted the same hardware in the same location. However, um, I realized that uh, it would just be easier if I put some tabs. So I took some quarter inch flat stock, welded it to the angle iron here, gave me an offset for these drawers um, because I did have enough space here with the drawer itself to uh, offset them up. Did uh, something similar to the other side just to give me enough mounting space um, because of the, I was over here. I was looking at if I had mounted it down here, I'd be right at the top of the uh, point here for the hardware and decided to just do a, uh, another extension piece on this side as well. Gave myself, we got a quarter inch um, angle iron and I put another quarter inch uh, piece of wood there as my spacer. I still have to mount these up so I have about a half inch of clearance here um, to account for some of this and just miscellaneous um, other things. Same as this side where we're pretty tight on the bottom 
and because of the uh, the top of the trailer I only have two inches above here I'm gonna be really tight on the top I have I think quarter inch half inch over here and another half inch of uh, clearance on this side from the top piece so nice and tight utilizing space very uh, well not really in this in this space here in this area here there's like no space left open or unused um, and then just to give you a rough we'll go over all the plumbing on the next video but to give you a rough uh, idea I kind of have it laid out here um, so we have water heater or water heater water tank over here um, I have a flexible connection that'll go then to rigid and this will be the drain I'm gonna install a solenoid valve somewhere I'm not sure about this configuration honestly um, this is kind of what can work right now um, that'll go through to the bottom I'll put gonna put this on a switch to where I just flip it um, it's a normally closed uh, solenoid valve something for you people who are dealing with solenoid valves you want to make sure you get the right normally closed normally open um, valve solenoid valves um, just working with them in my day job overheat if you have them on continuously so you want to have them um, if you if the valve is a no normally in a closed position you want to make sure you buy a valve that's in a normally closed so when there's no power to it it is closed and then when power is sent to the valve it opens up that would be a normally closed um, valve which is what we have here so when I'm done for the day or done for the weekend um, and I don't want uh, water just sitting in the tank I want to drain it out I can just flip a switch it'll open up that valve and drain out through a one inch pipe to the ground um, fresh water so no issues with where I'm dumping I can just hit that on either on the road or um, just wherever at camp when we're leaving or whatever so um, then over here we have a uh, strainer filter um, so that uh, this is our water supply uh, point drain water inlet and then that's the uh, vent over there so this is going to come out here into the strainer into the pump and then into the uh, accumulator or pressure uh, maintainer um, over here to give us so we don't have those like spurts 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 of water not really completely necessary but thought since I'm doing it might as well um, go all out so not very expensive for that piece um, this will then travel over up and through this point to a uh, uh, water connection point so this is going to get mounted um, right here got to cut a hole in the side that'll be our water point so the propane tank can hang here and then the fill point will be over here again cutting a hole um, here for our um, water uh, feed fill it full with garden hose and I'm gonna have a pipe running over and connecting to I don't like the idea that the um, the pipe is gonna have to 45 90 90 in there for filling especially on a gravity feed like that so I might turn the um, tank here 90 degrees and have it a direct shot in for our fill line and vent and then all this other pressurized uh, lines can move around 90 and offset and do whatever because it's not that big a deal they're pressurized so that's where we are right now so I had mentioned it before but I'm putting another drawer behind this one so here we have you know you have a sink and then you have a stove and there's really no and because I this this area here is utilized for propane uh, water heater there's nowhere for uh, utensils and all the other necessities that you're gonna want and need so we need another drawer but now we, we don't really have the space right so my solution is to install a drawer on the back side here so essentially using this box as a miniature example um, it'll be mounted from probably here to here about 24 inches of drawer space and um, take up this entire space here um, on this back side and how that will work is it'll sit here on slides of its own I'm gonna have to double stack two two-foot slides um, so one set will bring it out one set will bring it out to this point and then the second set will bring them out um, far enough where you can actually access materials and then set back in so one slide will be lockable and the other side slide will be just a normal back and forth 
and that won't lock. The uh, the metal mounting points, I'm going to have to have some uh, drop legs come down here and here in order to support the other side of this drawer. So that all has to happen first before I get this plumbing in place so I know what to avoid and where everything's landing and all the welding is then done on this sucker. And we can proceed with all the uh, plastic and uh, the rest of this woodwork. So. That's where we are. Let's get going on this thing. It's uh, Saturday morning. Uh, heat's starting to heat up. Season six starting to heat up. It's like two years later after getting this trailer, and we're nearing the end, but it's starting to get in the temps that uh, I'm not going to want to work in this garage in a sweaty uh, condition again. So, need to knock it out. Hunting season's pretty much done, wrapped up for me. Uh, it's now March, so we are uh, final, final uh, leg of this thing. Let's get her done.